HVAC technical trainer is the first stage of uh, learning HVAC. This field is important because everyone needs heating and cooling. The way I train my students, I train them in real world applications such as troubleshooting the furnace, why the furnace does not come on. It's not moving that air properly. So if it's not gonna move that air properly across that car, it's gonna freeze up. It's gonna freeze up. I'm a general contractor. I choose this so I can get more experience and technical use as a troubleshooting. Also, you know, we're learning about uh, safety. One of the things that I didn't expect to learn was how serious the safety is with HVAC. You really need to know your information to make sure that you can help people keep their houses cool and warm during the seasons. This training allowed them to get into an entry level heating and cooling job or trade. If they choose not to work for someone, it allows them also to get the EPA certification and they can work for themselves. And this low voltage, line voltage, like I say, is coming directly from the breaker, the breaker box. And the low voltage is connected from the end to the end here. Students can expect to make anywhere between $18, $20 an hour. Once they have five years under their belt, they can look to make somewhere around $40 an hour. My advice to them, whoever want to join the program, is very recommendable. They're going to be learning new stuff. They're going to be prepared for, for their life, you know, to get the better jobs. They'll be able to uh, work on electrical. They'll be able to work on plumbing. They will be able to raise copper pipe. Our program is truly affordable and they're here learning real world application. It's not just reading the book, they're coming in and getting experience when they meet their employer. They know what they're talking about and they also know how to do repairs.